There are tons of SCP games out there, and I mean tons. Just look at this. So, how would you ever know which ones are worth trying and which are just a waste of your time? The SCP universe is a fantastic foundation for a variety of gameplays and stories to tell, and we have seen this being portrayed with great success before in the amazing game SCP Secret Files. So, there's got to be some other hidden treasures out there with all these SCP games that keeps being released, right? In this series of videos, we have the goal of testing out all of the SCP games that are out there, and there's a lot of them, to tell you which are worth checking out and which you might just stay away from. In this video, we tried three different games, SCP Blackout, SCP Rulebreaker, and SCP Fragmented Minds. So let's not waste any more time and check them out. Hello, whoever you are and wherever you came from, and welcome to your future. Now, you're probably wondering where exactly you are, and who exactly we are. Unfortunately, that's not something we can tell you at this point. SCP Blackout is a sad story. A game that showed so much promise from a developer who seemed to be working on a project made with love and passion tragedy came to an end when the project files got corrupted and he lost everything. The developer stated that he tried everything to get the files back to continue developing this passion project, but sadly the files were lost forever. So ended the game that could have surpassed SCP Secret Files if it ever saw a full release. The game had so many good ideas that were in the works of being implemented into the game. The game had VR support as well as implementing a semi-roguelike feature to make sure every playthrough would feel different. It would have multiple endings, choices that impacted the game world, and multiple game modes to name some. After the tragical incident with the corrupted game files, the developer put out whatever he had to be free to play on Steam. You can therefore play a somewhat demo of what the game was supposed to be. This is a hard one to whether say you should play or not because on one side, this is a short demo of a game you know will never be released and as it also shows so much promise in this short demo, it just makes it more tragic that we will never see this game's full release. So in a way, there isn't really a point in playing it, but at the same time, the developer deserves some love for the work he put into this project that never came to be. So in that sense, we do recommend you checking this out. Hey, you know the first time we SCP-173? C'était flippant, mais on s'en est sorti finalement. Oh ouais, ce truc qui foutait la trouille a bougé des consignes et des yeux. J'ai cru que j'allais perdre la raison, et puis franchement, ce machin ici depuis des années, mais on sait toujours rien à son sujet. <rire> ah oui d'ailleurs, t'as entendu parler du nouveau directeur C'est moi ou il est vraiment bizarre J'ai cette impression qu'il en sait bien plus que ce qu'il dit. This next game is made by a French developer, which shows as everything is in French. But don't worry, you are still able to change the language to English in the menus, though some subtitles will still be in French, for some unknown reason. In SCP Rulebreaker, you play as a guard at Site 1730. As the game description says, Dive into the heart of horror with this survival game inspired by the mysterious SCP Foundation. After the opening of Site 1730, once the stronghold of the Foundation, chaos has erupted. All sites except Sites 15 and 19 have been abandoned, converging towards Complex 1730. An unprecedented concentration of anomalies released during a containment breach has left the complex in a state of desolation. The keyword here is Containment Breach. This game feels like playing Containment Breach just with better graphics and a machine gun. And no SCPs. And no events. Basically, nothing is happening. 
you do run into SCP-173 right away, but if you choose to close the door and go the other way, you will be walking around the area for what feels like an eternity, without anything really happening. The movement feels a bit stiff, and the red dot optic on the gun is living its own life. The game is out in early access at the moment, and you can test out the game for free, but we honestly would recommend waiting till the game has more to offer, as in its state right now, it might turn you off wanting to revisit it in the future when it eventually gets a full release. Hopefully the developers will do some tweaks with the movement and the gun physics, as it right now feels clunky. Does the game have potential? As with any SCP related game, it does have potential, but as of right now, we feel the game doesn't really seem to have its own identity, and we hope they will find a way to make this game feel more unique compared to games like SCP Containment Breach. From the moment you boot up this game, you get that feeling. You know the feeling we are talking about. That feeling of, oh yeah, this is going to be good. And spoiler alert, it is... SCP Fragmented Minds is a high quality, ambitious, well made SCP game that doesn't necessarily feel like an SCP game. Now, let us explain. Right off the bat, this is a good game. The controls are easy to manage, the movement is smooth, and the graphics are great. The game introduces a lot of new elements compared to any SCP game we have played before. You have a scanner that helps you find items you can interact with around you, or show you the location of the objective, which is such a good quality of life feature. You have different tools and weapons to your disposal, and a grappling hook to make you move around much faster. The game also introduces crafting. The game allows you to use scraps you find, or different items that you can fuse together to create utility items or weapons. But as you play the demo, there is this constant feeling in the back of your mind. Am I playing an SCP game? Let's make this clear, yes, this is an SCP game, but it doesn't necessarily feel that way. As we played through it, we almost felt it reminded us more of the older Alien vs Predator games from back in the days, or any sort of Alien space shooter game for that matter. What makes the SCP universe so interesting is the vast variety of crazy, inventive and surrealistic entities, and what makes them so dangerous to humans that they need to be contained. We didn't really get that typical SCP feeling from this game, but then again, that doesn't mean it's bad. What makes the SCP games so interesting is that it's open for any sort of gameplay. There are some familiar SCPs for the lore experts out there, and some that might not be so well known. But overall, we do recommend putting this on your wishlist, and try out the demo to test if this is the type of game for you. It is well crafted, well thought of, high quality production from a developer that seems to know exactly what they are doing. And that's why we are really excited to see the full release of this game. Right now you can play the demo of SCP Fragmented Minds for free on Steam. The demo is surprisingly long and gives you a really good idea of what this game has to offer when it gets a full release. So for this episode we recommend to check out SCP Fragmented Minds right away. 
hold on with the SCP rule breaker and wait for a full release or a more updated demo and only play SCP Blackout if you want your heart broken. Playing a game with such a potential that will never be. And that was it for today's SCP games. We will be back with more SCP games another time. Cheerio!